Okay, so morning guys. Welcome to another review from me, Matt, the Beauty Berserker. Now, I know I sound a bit weird, but for those of you that don't know, and a massive thank you to it, you guys out there that have commented and noticed, I've got a slip disc in my back at the moment. I've been off work for coming up to nearly two weeks now, still in absolute agony. I'd done a review yesterday, um, literally 35 minute review, fell off my chair at the end of it once I hit the stop button on the iPad and kind of woke up about three quarters of an hour later in excruciating pain. So please bear with me and I'm still trying my best to get these videos out there. Um, you'll see my arms or my hands move and everything, but I'm not going to be doing the handstands, forward rolls and cartwheels and stuff like that. But thank you to all the guys out there that wish me uh, get well soon and really appreciate it. Now also before I start, a huge massive massive thank you to each and every one of you out there that's following me over there on Instagram as Viking Beard Matt and on my YouTube channel as Viking Be as Bearded Berserker because the reason why I set this up, you've probably heard this thousands of times and I'm sure you know but for those of you just joining a quick recap, the reason why I set both up is to try and help promote, support and advertise small brands, small companies, small businesses, individuals and craftsmen out there that are making some amazing products and we really really need to get behind them and support them because don't get me wrong I don't have a problem with these huge massive brands and stuff out there but let's face it they've got a shed ton of money that they can throw into promoting, marketing, advertising their products with models and stuff like that that these smaller brands don't have. So the smaller brands and craftsmen out there have to work infinitely harder to get their products as best as they possibly can before they release them out onto the market because as soon as they do, they know they're gonna be in direct competition with these huge massive brands. And if we don't get behind them and support them, they're literally gonna give up and go, well, what's the point? No one's interested in it, disappear. Then eventually the only thing we're gonna be left with are these huge massive faceless brands and corporations out there. Now. Oh, I, the same as you guys, I'm a consumer. I work a full-time job, haven't been for the past week or so because obviously my back, but there is nothing worse going out and buying products, whether it's skin care, beard care, hair care, clothing, jewellery, all sorts of bits and pieces, craft bits and pieces. You get it home, it doesn't live up to expectations and it's not particularly good. So I, as a consumer, I'm trying to give my informed opinions on each and every product that I review, stuff that I go out and buy myself, stuff that gets sent through. I am completely unbiased with all of my reviews that I do and completely honest. And that's one thing I have stated from the start, this is an honest channel. I'm kind of getting to that point that I'm tired of people that are blowing smoke rings up a brand's backside saying they're absolutely fantastic. So you go out and buy it and you go, yeah, it's all right, but it's not that great. And there are a lot, I'm not saying any names whatsoever or tiring everyone with the same brush, but there are a lot of reviewers out there that are reviewing stuff, giving it fantastic marks and it's absolutely amazing and it's not. So I'm not here to be bought, blow smoke rings up brands, businesses, companies and craftsmen's backsides. This is a completely honest review from basically someone that goes out and earns money to pay for sort of stuff and bits and pieces and stuff that gets sent through. So I'm not here to blow smoke rings up any brand's backsides. Whether it's good, bad, indifferent, I will tell you. Now I have something completely different today, something I have not yet reviewed in my over 200 various reviews that I have done. And very kindly from a UK brand, they've sent something through for me to review called Cotswold Hipster. Now a few days ago in the post, I sort of dragged myself to the post box because the postman was ringing the bell and I got a package through and inside the delivery bag 
was basically a pizza box size thing. I thought, brilliant, somebody, it's Meals on Wheels turned up uh, because I'm old now and obviously I can't really get very far. I've got a pizza for lunch. This is technically a pizza box. It's even got air holes at the back to allow the pizza to breathe, which is nice to see, you know, because it's environmentally friendly. I have no problem at all with it turning up in a cardboard box. It's brilliant. You can recycle it. No plastic and stuff like that. Opened it up inside to expect a deep crust pizza, meat feast, and it wasn't. Inside we had some crepe paper with the Cotswold hipster logo on it. Tearing it off very gingerly and not trying to jar my back. <laughs> the Cotswold hipster logo, which I will be providing links with down below. And also there is a special code that goes with this review as well. But Cotswold hipster. Now, as the name suggests, these guys come from Cotswold and they make all sorts of amazing pieces um, wallets camera bags messenger bags backpacks luggage aprons all sorts of bits and pieces out there out of uh, basically canvas and leather so I've been following these guys for probably about three quarters of a year now watching what they're creating watching what they're doing and stuff like that and bless them, they have sent me through an apron to have a look at. Now it took me an hour or so to get the apron on earlier and not fall onto the bed and scream in pain. But we're gonna be having a look at the apron that they've sent through, what it's kind of made of, other bits and pieces about it, the price of it, then afterwards, gonna kind of like do a summary on it and um, basically the prices and stuff. So. Moving to the apron itself. Now, this is called the Kingham Waxed Canvas and Leather Apron. Now, for those of you out there, this the aprons are designed for anyone, whether it's woodworking, barbers, tattooists, bartenders, baristas, even psychopaths and murderers. There is an apron out for you. Now, don't get me wrong, yes, you can buy cheap aprons and stuff from pretty much any catering company and stuff like that out there. But if you want a badass look, you want something that's well made that is gonna last years, then the Cotswold Hipster are basically the guys for you. Now they've sent through this apron and we're gonna kind of work our way through it. Like I say, um, it's an apron that they've sent through. So, for a start, you have the canvas that it's made out from. Now they do three different colors. They do a dark gray, a light gray, and an army green. And this, I would assume, is the dark gray. Almost kind of got a slight bluish tone to it. Loads of leather work as well. You can see studded as well, and I'll flip over to the back as well. Um, loads of various different uh, kind of latches that you can attach things to whether it's Stanley blades combs whatever you kind of pretty much want to whatever it's for leather gloves um, vinyl gloves and stuff like that now believe it or not back in my past I've been two things in life I've been a tattoo shop manager and I've also been a chef where kind of these sorts of things are so damn handy because you can kind of keep everything in one place. Um, they're ridiculously hard wearing. On the front of this, you have a massive pocket as well. Oh, that hurts. So you've kind of got a smaller pocket on the front. Uh, you've also got a small popper, or a larger, a larger, should I say. Oh, uh, poppered pocket on the top of that on the front. So you can either wear this kind of like as a half mast um, apron, or you can wear the whole thing. It is entirely up to you, whichever way you wanna use it. The pocket itself measurements wise is 24 by 20 centimeters. And it also has like, say, you can hopefully see that, the stud popper in the middle. The canvas on this is a nice, thick, decent 
waxed canvas. And the leather work that they put on here is a top grain, oh, sorry, a top grain leather. And I do like the kind of worn effects on there already. Now, with aprons and stuff like that and workwear and stuff, I do like the worn look as opposed to it's just kind of come out of a factory. It looks like it's never been touched and stuff. So I do appreciate that whole sort of worn in work look to it. The actual cords on this are thick woven cord. Dead simple to put on. Um, looking at the back of it, you've got these crossover tags that go run around the back. And then when you have got it on, you pull these, which comes through basically the eyelet. And you can either tie it around your front, tie it around your back, whichever way you look. Like I say, you can do exactly the same Hang on, grab the right bit. You can do exactly the same and just, if I flip it round, oh, without falling on the floor screaming, oh, you can literally have it as a half mast apron, tie this around your back and everything, using, I feel like an air hostess doing this, uh, using drawstring strings provided, to kind of like just have a midriff sort of apron with your pocket on the front, so whether you're a cashier, tattooist, whatever, you can hold all your bits in the front there, which is, this is a thing of absolute stunning beauty, you know? There, don't get me wrong, there are probably knockoffs all over the place and you can buy them online a damn sight cheaper and stuff like that. But the actual quality that's gone into it, even the patch in the corner, Cotswold Hipster, they've got their own patch on there, almost like brass riveted studs on there. All the seams themselves are ridiculously well made. There's no fraying. I have worn this around the house, not for any particular reason or anything like that, but it's just such a solid construction. Even to the point that on the rivets, you can see where it's stitched in there. And this is the thick, thick waxed canvas. This is not your kind of eBay wish sort of, oh yeah, let's buy an apron sort of look. This is a hard wearing thing. So like I say, whether you are a cobbler out there, tattooist, barista, um, murderer, psychopath, um, bartender, cashier, whatever, this is an amazing, amazing apron. And one of the things as well, which is really nice with it, is they do offer a name tag on there. So at the top section here, oh, sorry. At the top section here, you, they will actually made you, make you your own name tag um, or logo and stuff like that, which I've obviously had, Beard of Berserker, because I'm the Beard of Berserker. It's all sort of like riveted on there, even, these little holders on the front there, really securely done on the back as well. And I'm so surprised, just for as soon as you say apron, you assume, yeah, well, it's an apron. But this is so solidly made that I'm sure, to be honest, if you treat it right and nicely and everything else, it is gonna long live, outlive me. And it is just so made, and you can probably hear how thick a canvas this is. And like I say, it is waxed as well. I don't know about waterproof because I haven't thrown water over myself and with a slip disc, it's not a great thing to do. But it is the craftsmanship that has gone into this, even with the sort of like the double stitched areas where it runs up over to what goes over your shoulders, the, the thick um, woven cord straps on it and everything, this thing, you can tell just by the feel of it that it is a piece that is going to last. It's not going to fall apart. And it's so nice to see, you know, the craftsmanship is still alive. It's still going. And to be honest, like I say, they made wallets, bags, backpacks and stuff like that. If this is the quality just going into one of their aprons, I dread to see the quality that goes into making their backpacks and bags and stuff. They do like all sorts of stuff, messenger bags, photography bags, um, anniversary bits and pieces, backpacks, wallets and everything. And this is 
the thing of beauty, you know, don't get me wrong, yeah, it's waxed canvas with some leather trim and everything else like that, but the craftsmanship behind it is simply top notch. The way too that they managed to get, like I say, you can get your own name tag done on it or whatever you want on the front of it. I'm sure they'll reposition it wherever you want it to go, but it's just a nice added touch as well. And I will be using this when I do cooking, barbecues, um, all sorts of bits and pieces. And like I say, I know this is a bizarre twist to the avenue that they're trying to take, because don't get me wrong, yeah, baristas, bartenders, barbers, tattooists, and stuff like that. But I have a lot of followers on Instagram um, that are kind of into the horror and Halloween and stuff like that. If you are looking, this really sounds weird, but this is another corner of the market that perhaps Cops Old Hipster have not thought, thought about. But if you are into your sort of horror and your special effects and makeup and everything like that and Halloween and these scare parties and zombies and whatever and surgeons and everything else like that. If you're looking for a decent looking, um, like I say, canvas and leather apron for your Halloween scare products, uh, projects and stuff like that and for films, this is stunning and I'm sure they change the designs up as according to what you want you can get bespoke pieces and everything made through them but it is amazing considering this I would assume is the dark grey they do a light grey and the army green as well if you can imagine this oh, with that bad back with kind of blood spatters fingers hanging out and stuff like that and everything you're gonna look like a right psychopath in it and everything especially with the name tag now, the price on this is, bearing in mind these aprons are brand new for 2019, £59.99 pennies. Now, it sounds like a lot of money. Yeah, £59.99 it is. It's not something that I could necessarily go out and afford to buy, but this is gonna last you years. Like I say, the actual, oh, Quality on the thread work that's gone into there and the stitching is literally impeccable. The stud work on the back of the little sort of latches class, whatever you want to call them, uh, is just brilliant. It's through the back in leather as well. It's all reinforced. It's ridiculously well made. So like I say, whether you are a barista, bartender, tattooist, barber, psycho, just using it for special effects and stuff like that. And believe it or not, I've since putting the photo up this morning already had one person interested in buying one of these. And it's like, how much is it and everything else? And where does it come from? And this is the King Kingham, not Kingsman, that's a film and something else. Uh, but this is the Kingham apron and $59.99. But, oh. Oh, that hurt, sorry. But, bless them, Copswold Hipster has provided me with a code. And this code is for 10% off of your order. So if you, at the end of Copswold Hipster, and like I say, I will be putting links down below, you enter the code BB10, you will get 10% off of your order, which is pretty cool. Bearing in mind, you can have these personalized and everything else like that. Um, if I hadn't told you before, which I hope you have, the actual width of the open itself is 65 centimeters and 85 centimeters tall. Perfectly fine. I'm around about 5 foot 11. Fits me like a glove. It's fully adjustable as well with these crossover straps on the back that you can either tie behind you or you can tie in front of you. Uh, 22 ounce wax canvas and top grain leather as well it's a thing of beauty and so 59.99 with using the code bb10 will or be a bit of berserker 10 so bb10 will basically get you 10 percent off and it is literally literally stunning and you will be seeing this popping up in other reviews and videos and stuff like that that i do 
because I'm starting to venture out uh, with my Halloween special or Hall live Halloween special pending. This is going to be used in that, so I'm going to do a re-review of that then. But it's absolutely amazing. Like I say, they do uh, UK shipping as well on top of that, uh, or UK post, which is £4.95, and also international shipping, which is uh, £14.99. And also 100% satisfaction guaranteed that if you are not 100% satisfied with their products, then they are going to sort you right out. And I absolutely love this. Oh, sorry. You would not believe how much agony I'm actually in at the moment. But I would like to doff my hat to Cotswold Hipster for sending this through. Uh, absolutely stunning. I love it to pieces. Craftsmanship quality is absolutely brilliant. So, baristas, bartenders, barbers, tattooists, psychos, butchers, murderers, if you are looking for a decent apron, um, then this is for you. This is going to be right up your alley. Quality absolutely impeccable and if i was to score it out of 20 which i don't i only reserve scoring out of 20 for beer products skin products and hair products i would score this at literally a 25 out of 20. there's not such a thing i know but it's that well made well built and everything and literally the quality is out of this world so thank you so much to Cotswold Hipster for sending that through. I will be putting links down below, so please make sure you go and check them out. Use the code BB10 uh, to get 10% off of your order. I hope you have enjoyed this review. Please feel free to comment down below. I do read, watch, reply to each and every single comment that is sent through. So thank you guys. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Take care of each other, keep on looking after each other, keep on helping, supporting each other, keep on growing those beards, keep on helping and supporting small brands and craftsmen out there, wherever you are in the world. And I look forward to seeing you guys next review from The Bearded Berserker. Have a great afternoon, guys. Thank you for your time. I'm going to fall on the floor and scream. Have a good one, guys. Thank you.